So today I'll be covering one of my all-time favorite uh, movies, and it is Saving Silverman. Uh, this movie is absolutely hilarious. If you haven't seen it, definitely worth checking out. Uh, a lot of the locations are quite close together, which is good for today's film, but uh, uh, there are some very interesting locations, and a lot of these ones, compared to some of the other videos, have changed quite a bit uh, since the movie was made. Let's go check some out. Alright, so this is from one of the angles. Now, unfortunately, this being um, private property, I can't even get into this fence, but um, we can still see a lot here through it. Um, this building in the background has been renovated ever since, but uh, you can still see the um, reddish kind of brick color that uh, it is the same building. They just added a little extension, and my guess is Probably right about here is where it ends because you can see it takes a little dip there. And uh, right about here is where that, where the coach would have been standing. And uh, Saving Silverman, the hilarious scene. Doesn't agree with the ref's call. The ref says, no touchdown, it was out of bounds over here. He goes, what? picks up a flag and throws it right at him. Would have been right about here. Another thing too is uh, in the movie the uh, high school is called the uh, Wheaton Warbirds and as you know who's riding the pine would be sitting right about here and in the background there would have been a sign the Wheaton Warbirds behind him at the top of the bleachers, right about here. However, it's been completely renovated, so you can't tell a lot from this field. Um, yeah, other than that. From this angle, you can see uh, through the goal post. Uh, it's, when the football season starts, the quarterback is throwing a uh, end zone pass to the receiver. And uh, you can see in the background a little bit that um, it has changed much over the years. But you can see that uh, this, where the bleachers ends, there's this kind of indented, almost looks like it used to be a basketball court here. But uh, now it's part of the school, and again, this is private property, so cameras all around me. I shouldn't probably even be doing this, but uh, I am. So now let's take a look at uh, Darren and Judith's house. So this would be uh, Darren and Judith's house in the movie. Now, uh, in the movie, you don't see the uh, hedge in front of it so much. But uh, we'll try to get a better look here because one thing you can notice about this house are the arches at the top. On the balcony there, you can really see these arches here in the movie. Now in the movie, uh, I can't see again because of the fence, but uh, right uh, to the right of the main doors is where Sandy would have helped Judith, uh, sorry, Sandy would have helped uh, Darren uh, move a couch into the new place and uh, there would have been a driveway about here so that's probably taken out or probably to build a house here but uh, a very nice house in a very nice area There's another look at it. All right, so now we'll be looking at uh, the scene where uh, JD and the band Diamonds in the Rough were singing uh, Cherry Cherry right here. Now, in the background, you can see that uh, this bridge right here. See that bridge? You can also see this uh, awning behind me over here. Now, in the movie, that would have been uh, red and white instead of blue and white. The other thing you can see behind me over here is where the crowd would have been in the background is this awning right here. Red and white, right behind the crowd when they were watching it. 
So in the background you can see uh, these buildings behind me as well. Would have been performing right about here. So now we're in front of the scene where uh, Wayne and JD driving uh, the uh, pest removal van, the road removal van, stop at this building to pick up a couple hookers. So it would have been right in front of this building here. Uh, it's a Chinese place. It is now when it was in the movie. However, it's been totally repainted. Some of the things that you can still see the same are uh, the awning at the top here. That's still the same. As well as this building here, you can tell that's the same building as well in the background. However, that's been totally repainted as well, but hilarious scene. So now we're in front of the uh, part where, uh, thinking that Judith's dead, uh, Wayne sets up a meeting with Sandy and out of all places to meet. Yeah, yeah, Where does yeah. she go? Yeah, just bring that and bring it. In front of porn store. And the funny thing is, is that it actually is still a porn store. <laughs> So, you can see in the background here that there's this uh, building and they would have met right on this corner here. <laughs> Pretty funny scene. So we're here in front of the wedding scene where uh, Judith and Darren would have got married or were about to get married anyways and then a whole bunch of the characters end up getting married. Anyways, this is the uh, front of the wedding. We're behind uh, where the priest would have been standing. And guess who comes up on that porch? Hello, my friends. Hello. That's right, Neil makes an appearance. Right up on the balcony. So during the wedding, they would have had uh, bunch of uh, chairs right on this field where I'm standing and in the background you can even see some of the trees. So this is uh, right around where the chairs would have been set up in front of this building here and then uh, like I said uh, right here there would have been a bunch of rows of chairs and uh, you can see this uh, landscape in the background as well.